Mark here from DNA Paints. On this video, I'll be explaining what a candy is. All right, so candies don't actually have a pigment, they're actually a dye, which makes them transparent. So they're perfect to put over a colored ground coat, whether it's a metallic, smashed metal, or even silver flare. Or if you're really wanting a really coarse sparkle underneath that candy, then uh, applying the candy over metal flake is more suitable. All right guys, so to give you uh, a bit of history on what a candy is, so candy was actually founded and created by Joe Balin back in 1956. And the first car to ever get painted uh, was a 49 Chevy Fleetline. So that just goes to show how long candies have actually been around for. And the name candy apple actually refers back to the actual candy apples that you can buy from the grocery store. So to give you guys a bit more insight into why candy is applied in multiple coats and to represent what it actually looks like in real time, I've got a piece of cellophane here and this is gonna represent uh, the coats of candy. So if you can imagine, that is one single coat of candy. It's very transparent. We can see through that if I double that up. This is gonna represent two coats of candy. And also why it's important when applying candy that you apply it evenly. So if it's not applied evenly, you're gonna have lines through the candy job like you can see in this cellophane piece. So if we double that up again, it's gonna be even darker. And that's why we recommend four coats of candy to be applied over your silver metallic or your metal flake. So here I've got another couple of pieces of cellophane. We've got a violet and we've also got a green, just to show you that um, the differences between the colors and how they go darker as well. I've got a piece of glass all masked up. I'll be applying our dragonfly green candy colors and our apple red candy colors over the glass piece um, in multiple coats in different areas to show you guys in real time how they get darker and what they look like. Now we do recommend applying four coats of candy over a metallic or flake base um, and that will really bring the colour out and you'll quite like the DNA Paints candy colours. All right, so one thing to keep in mind when painting candy is that sometimes they can be incredibly difficult to repair. So in some cases, painting a whole side of the car just for a small little 20 cent size dent is more than likely. I'm gonna do a demonstration right now of the possible uh, issues you may face when trying to blend a candy. Here we've got a guard that's been painted in orange candy. I'm gonna replicate a repair in the center of the guard and show you what can happen and the possible uh, outcome of trying to blend a candy.
All right, one thing to keep in mind when painting our candy colors over your silver metallic or metal flake is that you apply it as evenly as possible. We do recommend here at DNA Paints that you apply your candy colors with a 75% overlap. Making sure that your gun is nice and clean and it's atomizing correctly, it's not heavy on one side of the fan than the other because that will lead to getting tram tracks and or model in your candy. Now here I've got a panel all prepped up of applied silver flare. Over the panel I'll be applying blood red candy colors. Over this panel and I'll be purposely putting tram tracks in this panel. Now this is Worst case scenario, um, if you're not painting candy evenly. Let's get into it. 